Hello Vinyl Community, how you doing? It's Bill with the Vinylverse. I'm back with another video and this time it's going to be a contest response for Motorik 247's 200 subscriber contest. Alex uh, hit the 200 subscriber mark and decided to have a contest. Um, so this is going to be my response. Uh, but first and foremost, Alex, congratulations to you on the subscriber milestone. Um, really enjoy your channel and what you have to show because um, just about all of it I'm not familiar with, but it's it's all very interesting. Um, and then you get amazing like Japanese pressings and <clears throat> just a ton of good stuff. Um, always on the lookout for things that you show and talk about. So, <clears throat> pardon me. Thank you for that. Congratulations to you. Um, thanks for having this contest. Um, on the surface, this contest sounds uh, like it's easy, but uh, this was a very, very hard <clears throat> contest. So what Alex had asked is to pick uh, five kind of um, your favorite uh, jazz albums. Um, Kind of almost like Desert Island picks. Um, but the kicker is uh, no John Coltrane. So you couldn't include anything John Coltrane. Um, so this was challenging because um, I love so many jazz albums. And um, it was really hard narrowing it down. Uh, so this selection of five, I will say that um, they're, yeah, they're, they're at the top of my list, but, you know, at other points in time, they could drop down and other albums could replace them, or there's other albums that are equally as good in my opinion, but, um, for right now, these are the ones that, um, I'm going to take with me to a desert island. I want to apologize in advance. Um, so for my needle drops in this video, um, I just did it uh, handheld, so it's a little more primitive. So if the camera's moving around a little bit while I was recording the needle drops, um, that's why I was holding it in my hand uh, versus setting it up on the tripod. So um, I was a little bit strapped for time to get this video done, but I wanted to include uh, needle drops. So uh, forgive me for that. So uh, I apologize in advance. So yeah, uh, quite challenging, um, but let me get started here. So um, first, uh, just an awesome album, and I think it's essential. Um, everyone should own this one, and it's Bill Evans' Sunday at the Village Vanguard. Um, this came out in 1961. Um, and uh, I love this recording. Um, you get the ambiance of the room, so you can hear some, uh, you know, little talking in the background, some glasses clinking, um, but the performances are just spectacular. So it's Bill Evans on piano, uh, Paul Motion on uh, drums, and then the great Scott LaFaro on bass. Um, Scott LaFaro was an incredible bass player and um, shortly after this re release, uh, the, shortly after this was recorded, uh, he was killed in an automobile accident. So um, I think it was under two weeks, like 10 days or something like that. Uh, so that's really sad um, and kind of clouds over the, the recording here. But uh, he is great on this, and uh, the, the entire recording is just great. Um, so this is number one, and I'm going to give you a little sample of the opening track on side two, which is Alice in Wonderland.
So uh, that's my first pick. Bill Evans, Trio, uh, Sunday at the Village Vanguard. Now, number two. Um, <sighs> just a fantastic album here. And it is um, Lee Morgan and uh, Search for the New Land. Um, this was a 1966 release. Um, and um, I'd say this is a very creative album for Lee Morgan. Um, you know, he was um, a bit more exploratory. Um, and the opening track, uh, Search for the New Land, is uh, upwards in like the 15 minute mark. Um, so, very expressive, very exploratory, um, and an amazing, uh, lineup on this one. So you have Lee Morgan on trumpet, Wayne Shorter on tenor sax, Grant Green on guitar, Herbie Hancock on piano, uh, Reginald Workman on bass, and Billy Higgins on drums. And, uh, just a phenomenal album. And here is a little clip of second song on side one called The Joker. And enjoy. <laughs> So next, number three, um, another classic Blue Note album from 1964, and that is the Harvest uh, Silver Quintet, Song for My Father. Um, just a tremendous album. Um, beautifully recorded, be beautiful songs. Um, hard bop. Came out in 1964, if I didn't mention that already. Um, and another uh, great lineup uh, on most of the songs and then um, a different lineup on a different set of songs. So uh, the main band is Carmel Jones on trumpet, Joe Henderson on tenor sax, Horace Silver on piano, Teddy Smith on bass, and Roger Humphreys on drums. And then subsequently you have Blue Mitchell on trumpet, Junior Cook on the tenor sax, Horace Silver on piano, Gene Taylor on bass, and then Roy Brooks on drums. Um, so, a great album. And here is a clip of a Joe Henderson track called The Kicker. Okay, so that was, this is uh, number three, Song for My Father by the Horace Silver Quintet. Great, great album. Next, we have um, another just classic album. This time it's Charles Mingus and uh, Pithecanthropus erectus. Um, this came out in 1956. Um, this is a Japanese press here. And, um, great album, um, with a great lineup here. Um, so Charles Mingus on bass, Jackie McLean on alto sax, J.R. Monteros on tenor sax, Mal Waldron on piano, and Willie Jones on drums. And, um... Just another exceptional album, um, pretty much a masterpiece in my opinion, uh, by Charles Mingus here. 
and actually the the group is named uh, the Charles Mingus Jazz Workshop. Um, so terrific album. And here is a bit of the title track, first song, side one, uh, Pithecanthropus erectus. Um, check it out. <laughs> Okay, that was number four, and it's the Charles Mingus Jazz Workshop, uh, Pithecanthropus Erectus. Great, great album. Okay, and finally, um, I almost didn't put this album here um, and went the route of Andrew from Tales from the Crate and not include any Miles Davis. But in the end, I decided to include this album, and uh, hopefully it counts. Um, but it's uh, Miles Davis in a Silent Way um, from 1969. And the reason why I'm saying I hope that it counts is because this, uh, although it is jazz fusion, some people may not even consider, consider it a jazz album. Um, but this is just a brilliant uh, recording. And um, I just love the breadth of the album and the space. Um, it's very uh, open and um, there's a lot of room in the, in the tracks. Um, <clears throat> this is a classic Miles Davis album. Um, really jumping into electronic jazz at this point. Um, so of course you have, uh, an incredible cast of characters on this, starting with Miles Davis on trumpet, uh, Herbie Hancock on electric piano, uh, he really shines on this album, uh, Chick Corea on electric piano, uh, Wayne Shorter on tenor sax, Dave Holland on bass. Joseph uh, Zawinul uh, on electric piano and organ, um, John McLaughlin on guitar, and Tony Williams on drums. So, um, yeah, just a terrific album from 1969 by Miles Davis. Um, so here's a little bit of the title, title track uh, in a silent way. Uh, which was originally composed by uh, Joseph uh, Zawinul. Um, but Miles kind of changed it up a bit. And um, this uh, little clip is going to be from the early part of the song, which is a little more uh, quiet and spacey. Um, but uh, check it out. <laughs> Okay, so that is number five, um, In a Silent Way by Miles Davis. Um, All-time classic album here. 
So that's it. That's my um, entry, Alex. I hope you um, liked my picks. Um, like I said, these right now are albums that I truly love, um, but there's so much other great jazz that this was really hard to pick five. So um, I'm going to roll with these five here. So congratulations to you, Alex. Um, great channel, like I said. Uh, love what you showed on both uh, YouTube and Instagram. Because um, I know it's all great music, but a lot of it I just don't, I don't, not familiar with. But highly in interesting to watch and see. Um, <clears throat> so thanks for sharing all that you do share. And um, <clears throat> every everyone, if you're not familiar with uh, Alex's channel, Motoric247, link is down below. Uh, check him out. Give him some love. And um, that's going to do it. Everyone, um, hope you're all doing well. And um, I'll be back again soon with another video. So thanks for watching. Take care now. Bye.